guys, this is Sarah, and today I'm doing my April wrap-up. This month I read a total of 12 books, 11 I have read and completed, and one I am currently reading, but I started it in April and I am 60% of the way through, so I'm going to count it to my April read. I got to finish two series as well this month, which makes me very excited because that is one of my ultimate goals of the year, finish a lot series and I'm slowly but surely getting there. The majority of these books were really enjoyable and I liked them, but some not so great. So without further ado, let's get started. First book I read this month was Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This was sort of kind of my TBR pick for the month. My TBR pick was Bloodlines, but I haven't finished Vampire Academy, so I'm starting Vampire Academy from the beginning. And since it's a reread, I was very happy with it. I was actually surprised at how fast I read it, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm so excited to continue on with the series at some point soon. Then I read Destroy Me, a Shatter Me novella, and I now understand the Warner hype. I get it. I've got it cemented in my brain. Usually I give novellas three stars because they're snippets of things and not like huge uh, revelations or anything besides scenes or other things that happen in the book from a narrative character's point of view. But this one was just so good and enjoyable that I had to give it four stars. Then I read Broken Symmetry by Dan Ricks and this was a free ebook that I bought a really long time ago. It has a really cool cover and a really cool premise, but unfortunately the execution was just not what I desired. I have a full-length review on my Goodreads page of all of my feelings on it, and I wish somebody else would have taken this premise and done it justice, which sounds really bad. Sorry, Dan Ricks, but it just was not portrayed as good as it could have been, and the idea is brilliant, though. The idea is great. Then I read The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. I got an arc of this from NetGalley, so I read it in the towards the beginning of the month because it came out April 28th, and it was so good. So, 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 so good. I am in love with it. I cannot wait to continue with the series. I feel that it was exciting, and it had magic, and cool races, and strange looking people, and like mythology stuff, and it just had a like kick-ass main character, and the supporting characters were just as great, and just had everything that I've ever wanted in a fantasy book. There's been a lot of controversy because the blurb from the publisher, it says for fans of Shadow and Bone, not Shadow and Bone, for fans of Daughter of Smoke and Bone and the Mortal Instruments, and a lot of people are saying that they're too similar to those series, and unfortunately, I have read neither of those two. So this is my first perception in anything like this at all ever, so that might change my opinions on this book. So be aware of that if you're going to read my review, if you're thinking about reading this book. I have not read the comparison books, so I don't know what they have similar or differently. So make sure that, like me, you decide for yourself the books that you want to read. Then I read Unravel Me by Sahara Mafi, the second book in the Shadow Me trilogy, and I feel like this is the type of series that just keeps getting better and better. I felt like there was more action, definitely more explanations of a lot of things that I definitely needed. The main character grew a lot. We have some drama, and it was just so good. Then I read Life Before a Legend by Marie Lu, the prequel novella to the Legend series, and unfortunately I felt like if it's supposed to be a prequel novella, there should be more of an explanation than there was. It's kind of just like an added thing at the beginning. Like, it happens before Legend, but there's no explanation of the country, anything at all whatsoever, so I felt lost a lot of the time. It was enjoyable and it was interesting to meet the characters before meeting them, to like get introduced before 
the important stuff happens, but it just wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Then I read The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa, the last book in the Iron Face series, and it was just so good. I adore this book. I was a little apprehensive since we get a new point of view than usual as it follows with the rest of the series, but it was amazing. There was twists and turns and crazy challenges and like, oh, so good, guys, so good. And we get a happy ending, which who doesn't love that, right? Then I read Legend by Marie Lu and I enjoyed it. I thought it was really interesting. I feel like there should have been more world building. I was really lost in how the world works and and it just made me very confused and I couldn't really go flow with the plot because I was trying to figure out how the system works and I couldn't focus on the characters but after a while it got easier to deal with that confusion and I got into the story and towards the end I got really excited and I'm so pumped to see what comes next. Then I read Radiant Shadows by Melissa Mars, the fourth book in the Wicked Lovely series. I'm almost done with that. Woo! And I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting, the things that are going on right now. I t the third book really set up a lot for sort of like war type things and like conflict. And I thought this one was going to bash this conflict and make it happen and explode. And it kind of set it up a little more than I wanted. It was like more of a setup for a big thing than an actual big thing again. So it was really enjoyable though. I like the characters that we get introduced this one. Each time it's a new book we get new characters perspective and I really like this one and I thought the ending was really interesting and I'm excited to see what the last book is going to have because I don't know how people are going to fix stuff from from where we are. Then I read Ignite Me by Tahir Mafi and I absolutely loved it. Again, the series starts from okay and ends up being amazing, something of a huge growth and progress, not just within the series, but as a whole. And I loved Juliet in this one. She kicked some serious baloney and we finally sort of kind of get resolution with some stuff and we have romance things and it is amazing but I feel like the end was a kind of rushed and I would have liked a bit of more build up toward the end or more lengthening out of the end and like an epilogue an epilogue would have been nice I want to know what happens next we're kind of left like, okay, ta-da, finished, and I'm like, but wait, there's so much stuff left unfixed. How could you just leave it like that? And it, it's giving me a little bit of anxiety, so I don't really want to talk about it, but check out my review because I'm going to load all that stuff. Unload. And the book that I'm currently reading is Prodigy by Marie Lu. I am like 63% of the way through, so probably today I will finish it, and... I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it right now. I mean, it's interesting and it's intriguing, but I feel like the hype around it is not, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I feel like I should be more invested in it and more anxious to see what happens. And I'm just kind of like, nah, okay, I guess I'll read it. Does that make sense? So I'll let you know. Keep an eye out for my Goodreads link for that review because I have no idea how I'm going to feel about the end because people freak out at the end of Mary Lou's books. So, who knows what's going to happen from 63% to 100. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what books you read this month, what you think of the books that I read this month, what are your opinions on my rating and my thoughts on it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!